Jay, Willie said you'd been bugging him about the you should always catch the fades in high school. What uh, would you tell him, and, and what that feel like today with, with the one coming from Charles to out jump a couple guys? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really bug him, but he was talking about Stanford, and I was like, well, if you want to talk about Stanford, you can always just put me outside and throw me a fade because I did that in high school. And he was like, all right, all right. So, And then when that play came, I, I guess proved myself. So. Right here, Andrew. Still go. Willie had said you guys practice the strip drills all the time, and you always it's a huge point of emphasis. Did you know from facing Darren over the years that he might be susceptible to getting the ball ripped out? Or was that just a practice thing? Um, it's kind of both. Uh, we just over watching film about him. He's very vulnerable, just having the ball out, and uh, and in practice, Coach Coach Tiger always emphasizes just getting the ball out. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. Just get, when we get gang tackles, just try to strip it, and I just practice really hard on and trying to execute that every day in practice. Right here. Royce, as a senior and a captain, how gratifying is it for you to see this team, which has struggled for three straight weeks, especially on offense scoring, to finally put it all together today and play as a complete team and win against a pretty good team? I mean, we uh, it's not really anything of a surprise. We, we were very close the past three weeks. We just needed to give a little more, as Coach Tagger would tell us, just give a little more, and we'll come out on top. And uh, I'm really proud of how our team dialed in and focused and, and laid it all out there to get this win today. Ugo, what was it like going up against Darren? And then, uh, you know, how good did it feel to sort of strip him? I know you said it doesn't matter who you're going up against, but it had to feel a little extra sweet knowing that, you know, he's your former teammate. It was real good, you know, going against a, a highly uh, drafted, going to be a highly drafted player uh, here, here to come. Um, you know, we're just competing. You know, playing decent is really hard, so you got to have fun when you make plays. Rice coach was talking about how he thought Justin's return to practice kind of gave you guys a boost. What, what, what were your thoughts on kind of morale overall this week? Where was everybody's heads at, and, and, and what did you think the impact of, of seeing Justin just back the last couple weeks had on that? I think it's it's good on a personal level. I mean, we all want to see him healthy, and I know we know he cares about this team a lot. And this injury that he had is really you know hurting him that he can't be out there with us. But I feel uh, that Braxton is, is gaining a lot of confidence out there, and um, as a, the team, the offense keeps moving. Um, to be able to rely on him is, is pretty big. Royce, um, what did you think of the fans booing Darren throughout the game? Uh, I don't really have comment about that. I mean, it is what it is. Jacob, um, Charles said that that play was run once all week in practice. What was your what was your thoughts when you knew that was being called of that actually showing, going off the way it was uh, ending with a touchdown? Uh, well, the first thing that went through my head was touchdown a bit, and then when he was rolling out and he got tripped up, I was like, oh, no. And then he stood up, and I was like, oh, and I just pointed. I just looked at him and said, throw it up, and he did, and just jumped up and grabbed it. Royce, after you know weeks and weeks of struggling on offense, and even though you guys were moving the ball pretty well on the ground, the points weren't you know, up there on the scoreboard. How good did it feel to put up 40, and do you feel like you guys finally got your swagger back a little bit? Yeah, I think this game definitely gave us a little confidence moving forward. Uh, we just got to continue to build off this offensively. Uh, we can't we can't get complacent with, with the performance that we put up there. Um, just continue to go out there and, and put as many points on the board as we can. Like old times with all four of you running backs that have been here together for so long, all getting involved. Uh, how much did that help to have the guys, you know, going around the edge with their speed? I mean, seeing that makes me feel really good. I mean, like you said, uh, in the past, that, those are things we, we used to do. We used to have like three or four backs going off and getting close to 100-yard gains, and those guys help me out a lot. Uh, they take some of the pressure off me and probably some of the pressure off the passing game and the quarterbacks and offensive line, uh, just very versatile in our backfield, and I'm grateful to have those guys. Let's keep it with Royce. Royce, Coach Taggart said over here that he, he physically showed you guys your second half stats in Pac-12 play and, and how it was not looking pretty. How, how good did it feel to put up 24 in the second half? It felt good. Well, we took it as a challenge offensively just to go out there and, and prove that we could put up points in the second half. Uh, I mean, we have struggled with that, but i um, happy in the turnaround this game. Um, Royce, Royce back here. Um, even though um, Utah was probably aware that you're going to keep running the ball, how were you able to be so success successful running the ball throughout the whole game? I, I feel like uh, that would, that would make us uh, good offensively. I mean, our offensive line helps us out a lot cause, because the defense knows that we're going to run the ball. And to be able to run it successfully, I mean, that's just all praise to the offensive line. So 
I mean, I'm just very grateful to have them up front. Last question for these guys. Aiden in the middle, back. We got Schneider waiting. Uh, Royce, what was it like having uh, Marcus on the sideline uh, back in Oregon on his bye week? Good. I saw him around the facility earlier in the week, so just chatted up with him for a sec. But seeing guys and alumni like Marcus who have been so successful here at the university around, I mean, it just kind of motivates you. I mean, uh, it's it's no better, no other better guys around that you could, you know, ask to see.